Hey, one time here, back with another Sonic's Pokemon Emerald Adventure episode. On the last episode, we took on the final trick house challenge. Uh, showed off a cave where you can get all of your Zubat needs. Uh, showed the Johto expansion to the Safari Zone. And then even uh, explored uh, Pacific Log Town and the currents to the west of it. And even opened up a couple of doors. On this episode, we're back over here at Route 111. Because, unless I run into a fucking Pokemon. Alright. Luckily I didn't, but here's one of those doors that were open. And, uh, ah, oh, god damn, alright, where's my book, where do I, okay, well, just cut the shit. So, this puzzle, in this game, we want to go left, left, down, down. And use Rock Smash. Alright, here we go. So, here we have Reggie Rock, and yeah, I'm kind of a little overpowered for Reggie Rock, bizarrely, but I'm sure, so I'm sure if I do a Sky Uppercut, I'm gonna knock it the fuck out. That's the annoying thing, it's like, how the hell do I go about fighting this thing without, you know, how do I go about weakening it without outright knocking it out? Well, we'll see. So I'm gonna prop sun sun spore. Uh, we'll try sludge bomb. I don't think poison will do much against rock. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, he says. All right. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Just do a couple more of those. Start hucking some balls. I want to look a little power, more powerful. I mean, if you can get if you can get your ancient power like all stats risen up, that might help. Okay, I'm um, I'm gonna chance it. All right, we're good. We're good. All right. Now comes the ultra balls. Yeah, I was... I'd be lying if I didn't say, like, a little part of me was hoping that it would would have caught, been caught in the first ball. That would have been great. But oh well. And so it begins.
Oh great! It's now using struggle because it's taking so goddamn long to try and catch it. That's cool. Hanging on with one HP. If it, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna use a roll. It's like, if it's not catching this, then well, fuck. Fuck. And I thought this was gonna be easy. Well, good experience. What a joke. Alright. Seriously? S seriously? Alright, I'm, 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 I'm gonna show what happened with this. Reggie Rock, the Rock Peak Pokemon. A Pokemon that is made entirely of rocks and boulders. If parts of his body trip off in battle, Reggie Rock pairs itself by adding new rocks. So I'm 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 gonna sh I'm gonna show I did the same thing as before, I used Paralyze Heal. I actually put, you know, uh had my out in front first. And then I used like a couple of uh sludge bombs. Because obviously it's helped got into the yellow this time instead of like lower yellow, because before when I hit the first time around, it was like in sort of like green, and then the second time hit it was like sort of more in the yellowish, yellow area. Point being, two, two ultra balls it took to catch Reggie Rock this time round. Hey, hey, hey. Well, one down, two to go. Alright, back over here, and by here, I of course mean Route 105. Yep, that's uh, that's, that's some words. There we go. Just have to make a lap around the cave in this version. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know if it matters. I decided to do clockwise because, you know, it makes logical sense, right? But anyway, gonna prepare myself and let's do this. Next up on our list is Reggie Ice, or, or Reg Ice, or Reggie C. Anyway, I'm gonna do the same tactic as before, stunning it, obviously, weakening it, obviously, but. Let's see what our tried and true sludge bomb can do against Ice. Okie dokie, well, we managed to catch Reggie Rock, you know, with in yellow health and paralyzed and two fucking Ultra Balls, so hopefully we see if we get the same luck this time around, uh, as the Reggies have a catch rate of three, so. I forget what, like, the maximum catch rate is, like, the easiest, because obviously the lower the number is, the harder it is to catch, so. But it's like two 
150-ish something, I think it's like high-end or one something, it's, you know, whatever. As if I do research. Anyway, same song and dance, let's see if we, uh, cause it to struggle itself into fainting this time as well. Just like its brother, or sister. Reggie Rock! What was it, like 30 fucking Ultra Balls, a couple of, couple of Time of Balls, and nothing! Then the set, literally the second attempt, two Ultra Balls. I mean, I shouldn't complain, because I'm sure I'm gonna get fucked at some point down the road, majorly still, somehow, multiple attempts or some shit, but. Alright, Reggie Ice, Reggie Ice, whatever, Ice Work, Pokemon. Its entire body is made of Antarctic ice! So there's an Antarctic in the Pokemon universe? Hmm, strange. Anyway, after extensive studies, researchers believe the ice was formed during an ice age. Okay, but if this is the only reg ice in existence, presumably, right? I mean, unless there's just multiple reg ice, which doesn't really make them that special then, then how did researchers have time to make studies of it? Like, presumably no one went down to that sealed chamber before me, and open the doors. It's just been locked away here for however long, right? I'm starting to notice some some plot points in this game that just don't quite add up. Well, that's the second of presumably three dealt with. So, time to move on to the next. Alright, back here over at Route 120. by now. And finally, we have my personal favorite of the Reggies. I don't know, this design looks kind of neat. Uh, Reggie Steel. Oh, stun spore. Sludge Bomb ain't gonna do shit, because it's still. So we'll just see what a Giga Drain does, I suppose. Okay, that was a group hit, that's fine. Alright, well hopefully uh, a second one won't also be critical and hopefully won't be as effective, please. I mean, I know this is only just the beginning of the fight. Okay, that's good. Everything's great. Well, I came a little more prepared this time. Not that I was struggling, apart from that first time. So. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh, if only. If only. All right. Let the games begin. Thank you. 
looks like we have another Reggie Rock on our hands here. It's fun. Isn't going to be quite as easy to catch this times, you know, again, with the previous times. Alright, well. Is that the first time Ancient Power got off on one of these? I know I've been paying attention before, because again, I'm just mindlessly pressing the button over and over again for any such balls. Uh. We're currently, we've currently used 20. Right, yeah, 20. 20 Ultra Balls. And nothing. Alright, that's, that's fine. Like I said, there's a band app at some point. You know, again, we got off easy with Fredgy Ice. Got off easy with the second attempt on Reggie Rock. Uh, you know, had to come back around again. I mean, since we're, since we're speaking of Reggie's, as it's gonna get caught, isn't it? Yep, there we go. I was just... I thought, hey, this is going on for a while. How about I bring up that... I'm not exactly, you know, that much big, big of a fan of, like, the, the newer Reggie's. The, what was it? Reggie Ilecki? And like Reggie Draco, Drago, some shit. It's like I, I like because like Reggie's like they were this generation's like legendary birds, legendary beast type deal, right? And, like even Reggie Gigas, right? You know that, that that was like a neat thing, like oh, in a completely different region. You know this sort of like um like lord, like sort of master head honcho type deal. You know, kind of like how Arceus is like head honcho over the Alga, Palkia, and Garatina kind of deal. But then when you just start adding more and more, like, his Reggie's of every type, it's just... I don't know. Kind of just doesn't make him seem that special anymore. Where it's just like... Yeah, okay, so there were these three, they were locked away here, and then Reggie Gigas, because of the, the devastation or some shit, like, kind of stuff. And then Reggie Gigas was then, you know, kept in a completely different region. That's kind of that far from here, but you know, still. But then it's just like, oh yeah, and then, and then there were some others that were created at some point as well that just kind of over here somewhere, you know, for some reason, doing stuff. I, mean, I don't know, whatever, it's just me, but... Regardless, already steal the iron Pokémon. This body is harder than any kind of metal. The body metal is composed of a mysterious substance. Not only is it hard, it shrinks and stretches flexibly. Mmm. There we have it. The Reggies have been caught. Now I just need to nickname Reggie Ice and take it back to the island cave and then we can get- Oh wait, that's not this- that's- that's- that's the remake. Alright, yeah. Well, probably about time we wrap up this episode, but actually there's one other Pokemon of a legendary-ish status that we can get our hands on. Just that it's, uh, it's a little hard to find. Uh, I think we'll, I think we'll be able to do it. Alright, and here it is, it's Ladias! Yes, yeah, so at the beginning, obviously at the, after you beat the game, obviously the news report of a Pokemon flying above being either red or blue, this is what that indicates, because obviously in Ruby and Sapphire respectively, obviously you can find Latias or Latios. In this game they give you the choice, and yeah, it's a Roma. It has a... Uh, it roams about everywhere, you have to annoyingly keep going into your Pokedex after you've spent it the first time around to try and find it again, you know, where it's hiding, obviously you go into it. A different part, like you go from like Marvel into like Route 117 or whatever, and it changes, and you have to keep playing mind games and yada yada yada, and it's just it's so obnoxious. And then even when you like, if you're in the area and you run about, there's not even a, a ch chance you'll run into it immediately anyway. There's like you know, just like a percentage chance that you'll encounter it. So that's fun. And then of course, you know, it will escape after you. Uh, do an attack, if you're fast enough, that is. Um, I believe it even has a chance of, like, shaking off any status abilities, like paralyzing or something. So, with all of these things in mind, I'm not gonna fucking, you know, 
entertain this, this little bitch at all. I'm gonna use... Oh, I was gonna say, why do I have an Oshpool when I have, like, but that's because I bought... I had 80, and I bought another 20. And so, yeah, I guess it obviously capped to 99, so then I guess it went over to... Alright, well... Point being is that the master ball that we found in Archie's office all those uh, that time ago is gonna be used here. Uh, there, there are some Pokemon that we still have yet to encounter that have an obnoxious catch rates, but I think I'll, I'll, I'll power through and I'll, I'll try desperately to try and catch them in an Ultra Ball or Timer Ball possibly, or even for shits and giggles maybe a Poke Ball just to be hilarious. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I've done that in the past. Like, oh, I'm gonna catch this Pokemon in a Pokeball. You know, it's obviously a very weak Pokeball. Out of all the Pokeballs, obviously. Uh, anyway, last of all, go. I ain't dealing with this crap. But yes, the Eon Pokemon. They make a small herd of only several members. They rarely make contact with people or Pokemon. They disappear if they sense enemies. Hmm. So that so there are multiple of certain mythical Pokemon, right? Hmm. Very very curious then. And so yeah, that does it for this episode. We have managed to catch the Reggies, and as well as the Latias, or Latios, depending on obviously which one you choose or whatever. As if you're playing along with this shit, Jesus. Anyway. But of course, there are still some more legendaries to be caught. Obviously, oh I don't know, the ones on the fucking boxes? So I think we'll have to do that next time. I'll see you guys then. Bye.